Hi guys, today we're going to be taking a look at another piece from Poland. This is a WZ93 pattern uh, insulated winter jacket. The uh, quilted liner is stitched in and uh, not removable. And this particular piece was produced in the year 2000. Now this pattern was introduced in 1993, although I have seen photos of the WZ68 um, Moro pattern and WZ89 Puma pattern also being used concurrently with this pattern. And I've also made a video on both of those uniforms and I've made a video comparing and contrasting all three, so definitely check those out if you're interested in the differences. Now this pattern adds a lot more uh, functionality. We have four pockets on the front and two on the left arm and one on the right arm. So right off the bat, we have way more pockets and a lot more uh, functionality. So if we look at the top two pockets, they're both pleated with two buttons each and they have quite a bit of uh, material on the right side and you know none extra on the left. So probably for you know magazines or whatever. But yeah, you can kind of like store your garbage in here if you if you really want to. Same thing on the left. These ones are buttoned. And down here, we have much larger pockets, which are also pleated. Yeah, pretty much every pocket on this uniform, you know, is pleated. It looks pretty good. It's a nice common military style. But yeah, here we are. Got the buttons here. Pretty small, but you know, nothing too bad. Also pleated on the right side, like the top one, but just straight stitched on on the left and you'll see it's symmetrical on this side as well where we have this time on the right stitched and then the extra material on the left so pretty cool and you know just to note about the pattern unlike the previous two this one is definitely more practical um, in terms of the camouflage effectiveness we've switched to a four color uniform this time with a you know forest green color a brownish red color a black color and then like a tannish color and these are the way this pattern is arranged is in these uh these blobs these blobby shapes not too dissimilar to woodland except they're very rounded there's no sharp edges and they're not in a particular vertical vertical or horizontal facing manner they just kind of all you know expand and like, it's not in a horizontal shape. They're not going in, like, a horizontal direction or a vertical direction. They're just kind of all central. Um, so, yeah. Pretty commonly used uh, pattern today. That's uh, their currently issued one. And it looks pretty neat, actually. Um, yeah, it's a pretty cool pattern. But anyway, let's go to the uh, left arm. Here we can see we have these two pleated pockets, which are about the same size as the top chest pockets if we do a little comparison here pretty much the same size and yeah they also got buttons pretty much almost everything on this uniform uses buttons however there are some secret zippers and i'll show you where those are but anyway this one pretty much the same thing as above except instead of having two buttons it has one in the middle and on the arms we have a really small button for your wrists if you want to, you know, enclose them. And on the inside, we have the insulated material. Anyway, as you can see here, we've got the Polish flag, one on each side. And we do have these epaulets. And like the previous edition of this uniform, the button is kind of hidden by the fabric. And if we go here... We can see the tag with the size, 98 centimeters by 175. We've got the laundering instructions and comma is likely the manufacturer. That's my guess. The method of opening and closing the uniform, we've got these big black buttons. Then unbutton them all. Take a look at the inside. And one like hidden one up here. Not too bad to undo. Here we are, this nice quilted layer. And 
I was wrong. Seems like you can partially undo it right here. A button there, a button there, but it's mostly like actually stitched in, as you can see. So I'm not sure what these buttons are for, but then again, here got another information tag 130 slash mon. Um, you know, the month, the year 2000, more uh, information. But if you want to see this layer underneath the quilt, you can see it right here. Very interesting how they have those two buttons there, but for the rest of the uniform, you can't really like undo this. And then we have here the drawstring for the waistband, or for like your yeah, for tightening it up. But yeah, let's look at the weird zippers on the back. So if we flip it over, you'll notice a few things. And I didn't notice this quite at first, but they're actually two zippers, one here and one here. And if you undo them, it doesn't access a pocket or anything. It just brings you to the inside of the uniform and you can stick your hand through, you know, to the other side. So I'm not really sure what that's about. Um, maybe for warming your hands, but it's kind of in the back of the uniform, which is kind of weird. But yeah, like you just kind of stick it in and it just brings you to the other side of the uniform. It's not like an internal pocket. Like all the other previous iterations, we have this uh, blank white um, piece of fabric sewed into the back, you know, and then for this it's a little bit different because we have this extra layer of fabric, so you can see how that looks like that, and I'm sure this has been slightly changed over the years, and on the back, you kind of see the, the stitching here for like the elbows. I mean, this is the year 2000, so I'm sure there was other iterations of this uh, winter uniform in this pattern, but here's the one from the year 2000, so pretty cool. We're just going to flip it over and then close out the video. So in terms of rarity, this is actually a pretty common pattern on the market right now. It's very available. You know, it's being sold in large quantities, surplused out, so you can get pieces in this for really cheap online unlike the uh, other two which are quite a bit more rare like I said these are being surplused out right now so they're pretty cheap I think I saw one of these online for like 25 bucks or so plus shipping which isn't bad for a winter uniform especially one of this quality and it is pretty nice I mean the uh, quilted layer seems very comfortable I haven't actually tried it out in the snow or anything like that so I'm not sure how warm it is exactly, but it seems to be uh, well made and well constructed. So if you're looking for something pretty cool and affordable, I definitely say uh, pick one of these up if you need it. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe for more content. Thank you for watching and have a great day.